This symbol can be seen in the swastika of the Third Reich. The Knight's Cross is a variation of this symbol, which is thousands of years old. We do not know where the Germans of the Third Reich got their ideas. This drawing of ancient Babylon displays the concept of an invincible power from the heavens. Schauberger was one of the leading scientists in the very intense push for a new and clean energy. Simplified, it could be called implosion instead of explosion. There was a group within the Third Reich who was searching for constructive solutions, not destructive ones. In these diagrams, you can see a new type of vehicle was being planned. combustion engines using fossil fuels in our cars are dependent on the explosion principle and hence tend to be destructive to the environment. Schauberger's experimental vehicles were based on esoteric principles and focused his research on electrogravitation. In other words, regarding gravity as an electrical force which can be utilized for propulsion. The U13 Department of the SS concentrated their efforts on this technique. This was the means by which the Honeywood flying saucer was powered. Here you can see the construction plans of the Honeywood 2. The computer graphic enhancements show something of the look of these tiny boost line courses. The engine is very likely to have been designed by Captain Hans Kohler and built by the German AET company in 1944. The engine being called the Kohler Converter. This engine was designed so that it needed a relatively small amount of energy to activate it. This energy coming from an accumulator or battery. After a short time, the Kohler Converter built up sufficient energy transformed from the gravitational field of the Earth 